Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know what time it is. We're going to watch Young Pooty P inside the Yakuza, Japan's most dangerous gang. I know most of y'all don't need an introduction to what the Yakuza is, so we're just going to hop right into it. Japan really a vibe, bro. In Tokyo, the hood doesn't really come to mind. There are some dangerous places here, but it's relatively safe due to tourism. But three hours southwest on express bullet train and away from most tourism will lead to one of Japan's biggest cities, Osaka, which to locals is known as the hood of Japan. Today, we're gonna link up with Tiga Sky C, a local rapper who's gonna show me around Osaka and then later connect me with one of the world's most dangerous gangs. The Yakuza. Make sure to take two seconds and thumbs up the video right now, y'all, because we have a hit lot that like of button and right, subscribe. So we just got to Osaka right now. We're about to go link up with Tig. Off rip, Osaka looks just like Las Vegas to me. The roads, the buildings, the everything. It reminds me of home away from home in a way. We got a lot to do. You know what I was thinking about the other day too? I was literally talking to my dad about it. Like people from the hood think that like and this is me being from the hood too. They think that like the gangsters in the hood are the biggest gangsters, but like once you start traveling overseas and interacting with like the different individuals and then you see how their crime works and that, like how they be moving and what they really be on, there's like so many different levels to this criminal activity that people be doing and it's like actually insane. Like they be doing shit like that you wouldn't even think is like normal. Do today and we also have some very interesting people to link with as well. Can't say too much, but y'all see the title. Let's go over here and let's go knock it out. It's young I ain't finished white girl. She played tennis. Um, yeah. Brand new Rafi, brand new Ricky. Tell him send it. Um, yeah. Brand winner. Yeah. Lambo. Yeah, I bend it. Yeah. This is not a rented. Pull up window tennis. My ass. How you doing, man? Hey, good. Say what up. Say what up. Takoyaki. 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 It feels like he's me, man. たこ焼き、たこ焼き。わら。はい、どうも、ポリ。ナイスミーチュー。ナイスミーチュー。ウェアアンウェアコココアオーサカミナミ。ミナミ。ナンバー。ミナミナンバー。ユフィルミ。
So he got the heart right here when he was 19. That's his first tattoo. Sex. Sex. <laughs> yeah, he got six right here. That's boom. <laughs> to get a sex. face tattoo, you got to be fully committed. At what point was you like, all right, I'm not trying to get no job or no nine to five job or anything? So ever since you were younger, you, you've been like this and you knew you didn't want a job or nothing. So like, would y'all get a face tattoo? Like if you felt like you had a promising career in something creative and you're at the very first step, would you full commit face tat it? And just just lock in for the swag for the aesthetic. Or are you gonna wait till you you know the bag start rolling in? What is this area right here called? Oh, he kakebashi. She he he kakebashi. Kakai you. Maeda na nanpashitari toka. Ato catchy free catch ga ottari toka. Mise no yobikomi shitari. Maeda tatoeba ano ko kawaii to motta koe kake ni itte. Oh okay. So this right here is like the place you could pick up a girl or you trying to sell something to maybe a tourist or a local. I was saying to the camera, it reminds me so much of like Las Vegas here. Guriko. Guriko sign. What does that mean over there? Guriko. <laughs> so this is a real popular place. He's saying a lot of people will come here and they'll take a picture in front of it. Kind of like if you're in Hollywood, you go to the Hollywood stars. New York, you go to Times Square. And look at this view right here. This right here is beautiful. It's a clean though. Did Japan is nice, like, bro. Lots of fights and stuff like that. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. What's the craziest thing that you've seen here? Oh. So seeing somebody get stuck. And his guts yeah, coming yeah. out. So we see the places here that if somebody's new here, it might look safe, even though I know it's dangerous. Are there a lot of gangs in this area? Yakuza. From what I've read, they're one of the most dangerous gangs in the whole country, right? <laughs> what other gangs are out here? Is it just them? I don't know how to say it. Like, they're the best of gang members. Or like, probably like the most popular, mm -hmm. they're like the most right. popular gang out here. In like America, there's like Bloods, Crips. You go to a different state, there's like GDs, BDs. There's all these different gangs depending on what state. In Japan, is it just only a few gangs out here? Yakuza that gang. Sometimes, you know, in Japan, you know, yellow and black gangs are there. You know, Crips and you know, Bloods and you know, black clothes are there. But that is just a Halloween party. This statement he said right here, though, bro. I've met people in the Air Force, bro, who swore up and down that they was bloods or crips and i was like bro brother Genki, you were in the air force bro you were not doing any hood activity for 12 hours a day you were out here slaving on these aircraft just like the rest of us like can you just put this shit down bro you are somewhere new now bro like take a break bro when you go back Go back, I guess, lock in. But you feel me? When you not, like, come on. Got you, okay. Halloween, so, Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween custom. Why didn't you ever choose to, to join that gang or anything? Mm, pretty much you're saying like not something that oh i'm gonna just join for a few years and then oh i think this is too hard let me get out once you join you're committed it's about you're in for run. life how long Duh, that's how that music? Music. that's how that should do what have first got you into doing it okay you feel like making music made you born again in a way? Right. What's the music scene like out here? Is it different from Tokyo? There are not really much difference. Less real ones in Tokyo than more real ones in Osaka. Do a lot of people here rap? If you could work with any artists in the U.S., what artists would you work with? Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Okay. That boy said Chief Keef. You know what kind of time he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TV watch my videos, so I know he, he gonna see this. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, How bro. Someone from this area finds cheap keep music. Don't like it again. Do you understand anything that the song say, or you just like the way it sounds? Is there a producer that you want to work with? Weezy. Weezy? Yeah. Weezy out of here. Okay, okay, lit, lit. I'm hungry. Uh, I be doing this shit with no pressure. Mention for what you mentioned in chatter. Fuck with
with us cause we got it for lesser Fuck the rest, could've went by the Tesla But instead I invested in bowls You can hit me for high or low on bro I get this shit dropped at your dough I'm a real nigga, no cap in my rap Say eating this cap in this trap Imagine if this was the Japanese dude rapping <laughs> Imagine What you know about he ain't good. He don't know how to use chopsticks. Clearly. See this right here? Never do this in Japan. When you did this, this is the thing when you do a funeral in front of a body. That's for them who passed away. This oh, don't do this? Yeah, yeah no, oh, yeah. don't do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Point it to me. Yeah. So only if they're older. If they're younger, I could do this. Yeah. 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 Don't do this. Yeah, no, 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 no. Never. Never. So how do I supposed to do it? This or so, so I'm left-handed. So facing right. Yeah, right. We also can't use this either. This one is also something we do after funeral too. Not funeral, but like we burn a body and then it, it come out as a bone, right? And then we pick bone. This oh, we, we, we can't both do. grab it at the same time. No, no. Oh yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. You have to like pick them. No. Okay. What if it's chilling like this? Oh. I'm not gonna hold you chopstick etiquette. There is a lot. There's a lot of chopstick etiquette and like a lot of cultural things you need to be aware of when you're eating with chopsticks and the people of their culture. Well, that's not a problem. Just standing like straight, this is not cool. After eating, it was time to meet the Yakuza. When people think of the Yakuza, they think of older retired people, but today nearly 40% of their members are in their 20s and 30s. They rarely do interviews, and because they're amongst the world's richest gangs, even money won't make them speak out publicly. When I tell y'all this felt like straight out of a movie, dim lit back room, hidden in plain sight, with the Yakuza suited up waiting on my arrival, that's exactly what this was. But it was time to finally meet them. It's dope though. Cause I feel like videos like this are usually like difficult to find. Like he's actually gonna go interact with a gang that a lot of people are curious about outside of their outside of Japan. So it's like really a cool like thing to see a black dude go to Japan and like do something like this. Before we continue with this video, y'all, this video is sponsored by Price Picks. If you guys love to make daily sports picks like me, make sure y'all down on the individual picks for sponsoring this video. And y'all about to get wake. Uh, definitely something that no YouTuber has done today. We're in a private secret location and we're about to do a full interview with the Yakuza. That's enough talk. I'm actually curious, like, what questions he's going to ask them, too. Like, what questions are, is he going to ask Talking. them? It's time to go and meet them for ourselves. <laughs> Nah, whatever something that is. Everybody has masks. Their identities don't want to be shown. We're in a small space right now, so we're all crammed up. I guess first question, why is it so important to hide who you are? <laughs> Got you. Well, we do illegal stuff sometimes, so you know. What is the the joining process like? How exactly do they have to go about joining? <laughs> Y'all need these books to be a Yakuza for life. Okay. When y'all are looking for people to join, do y'all go and search for people to join or do people come to y'all and ask? Do you know what when y'all are trying to find people that y'all want to uh, bring in, what exactly are characteristics that y'all are like trying to look for? Back is when you find somebody, how do you know that, okay, I can trust this person to be part of the gang? Damn. Bad kids, we know we could trust them if they can kill or not. That's actually like some devious type shit. That's not a normal answer. They they really own that type timing though. Mm. And say if someone wants to join and you have them go do something for you and they come back and don't get the job done, how is that process like? Do you just kick them out or do they get in trouble for not doing everything that you asked for? So um, I see everybody has on suits. Why the suits? Do everybody have to dress in suits if they join? Or is that how y'all carry yourself every day? This is Japanese culture. Okay. I see everybody has nice jewelry and everything. When someone joins, do they get money given to them? Are y'all faces known by lots of cops? Yes. Let's say a cop just sees you out living your regular life. How do they treat y'all when they see y'all? They're trying to look for something they committed so they can Got you, got you. Now, if let's say the cops find y'all and try to take y'all to jail, do y'all get extra time because y'all are in a gang? Yes, sir. I've seen online a lot of people have tattoos, their whole full body's covered. Is that something that everybody has to do once they join? Or is it a certain tattoo? No. 
You have to get tattoos in the East Japanese culture, like if you're in the gang, you're like automatically good. By y'all being in the gang, are y'all able to just look at somebody else that lives here and tell they're in a gang, whether it's a certain way that they dress, carry themselves, whether it's a certain tattoo, and be able to tell that, okay, this person is in a gang of, of some sort. <laughs> How does somebody move up in rank? How does someone move up from somebody who just joined the gang to all the way up to like a leader or a boss? How much you down the work, how much you can go up and higher. How how fast can someone do it? Um, do you have any like rival gangs? How do you think the gang culture here is I mean, it does make sense though, like they're just saying you can move up as fast as you work. So if you're getting a lot of crimes done, you could get elevated, you get to the big baggie. The money different from the gang culture in the United States. Okay, so it's is drug culture not a thing here compared to like in in the U.S. Do most people not do drugs? And this is why I said what I said earlier. Right? Like, there's so many gangs around the world, and the way they all operate is so different. The fact that they said they don't do drugs. You want to know why they don't do drugs? Because nothing they want, they don't want to get caught up. They don't want to make a mistake. And if you're fried out of your mind 24 7, off the lean, off the walk, no matter how fun those experiences may be for y'all, you could be sloppy and make mistakes, say the wrong things at the wrong time. But you know, like, so they, they, I'm telling you. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Was any of y'all young when y'all had y'all first tattoo? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are we able to see any tattoo of y'all's? What does that tattoo mean? Bonji. What do you say? It's called Bonji. I don't know what to explain. I'm sure it's Japanese culture. Do any of y'all have your whole body tattooed? When y'all had kids, tatty, would y'all want them tatty. to join the gang as well? Or would y'all want to keep y'all kids away from that? It's not his choice. Like, he's going to want to be more of you know, choose more um, would that be, would he tell um, his kid that he's in a gang or would that be something that he'll try to hide from them for as long as he can? Yeah, yeah. So I I see your hand and I see that you're missing a uh, finger over there. Uh, you mind explaining what happened and how you lost it? Was it something that you chose to do or was it a request from somebody else that you should get your finger cut off? Okay. When you join, why did you choose? And I want you to think about that. If they fail at something, they're willing to cut off one of their fingers to rectify their mistake and show that they were wrong or they made a mistake. That's, that is actually insane. That's not just a, I'm sorry, I'll do better. They like prove it by harming them. Like, bro. To join. Okay. Um, did, did any of y'all join for safety reasons? In the U.S., joining a gang, a lot of people have to because of where they're at. It's either they join a gang and the neighborhood help them be safe or they have to go out on their own with no backup. Did any of y'all join to have a backup and feel safe? <laughs> Bro, I want you to think about how cold it is. That's the way a samurai lives. That's the way a samurai lives. Many people get to speak with the Yakuza. Because their identities are hidden, it's common to be walking the streets and not knowing you're passing by a member of Japan's most dangerous gang. A few of them traveled four hours just for this video. It's moments like these where you sit back and think, how the hell this all started? All year I'm traveling the world and meeting people learning about different ways of life outside of the norm. I just posted new pictures with the Yakuza on Instagram. If you go comment here from YouTube, I'll go spam your pics. And comment on this video and let me know where y'all want to see me go next. From Osaka, signing out. Plug came in and he had one point left. We did. That was a W video. It's like interesting to like learn about different cultures for real, honestly. And like traveling is something that if you have the opportunity, you should do it. The world is much bigger than we all know. So like you should see more, do more, learn more. It'll help you learn who you really are too. But you already know what time it is. I'm out. Hit that like button, subscribe. Hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe, and say one more time, hit the like button, subscribe, and y'all have a good day. Peace out, y'all. We are